Okay guys, welcome back to Tractor Tip Tuesday where we talk about all things related to our tractors and our farm implements. So, um, what I want to talk about today real quick is we are going to talk about what size tractor you need and what that horsepower actually means. Okay, so some people get really hung up on the horsepower of the tractor, whether it's a 25 or 40 or 60 or 150 or whatever it is, people tend to get really hung up on the horsepower of the tractor. And uh, when you buy a subcompact tractor, or I'm sorry, I really should say a compact tractor, uh, when you buy a compact tractor, um, the horsepower rating really, yes it matters, is it quite as detrimental as people want you to make it out to be? No, not really. It's uh, a lot of it tends to be more of a sales gimmick. Now, there's an obvious power difference difference between something that's a 40 horsepower tractor versus a 25 horsepower tractor. Nobody's arguing that, but there's practical differences into what this actually comes into play. So let's talk about this. So my dad's tractor is a 30. I believe his is 34 horsepower. His is a Kubota, and his is a 34 horsepower. It's a newer tractor, um, and so he's got emissions on it. He has a uh, hydrostatic transmission. My tractor is 20, I believe, let me, let me make sure now I've got tractor data here. The engine gross is 26.3 horsepower. The, um, the difference is, is that my tractor is a gear driven tractor with no emissions on it. So I don't lose any, I, I have minimal parasitic loss to my PTO. The, 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 according to tractor data, I get 21.5 at the PTO. Um, my father's tractor, which is again a 34 horsepower tractor, his PTO rating is 34. So at his PTO, he's only got three more horsepower than I do, even though his tractor has almost 10 more horsepower than mine does as a rated tractor. So um, you have to actually look at what the rating on the PTO is, <clears throat> and it's going to change a lot. Um, if we look at, uh, I think Messex did the uh, did the polling test on this, uh, where they rated uh, or where they, where they went gear drive versus hydrostatic drive. Hydrostatic drive has a lot of a lot of um, advantages, but it's not as robust as a gear drive transmission, and you do lose some capability as far as what you're allowed to pull with it and what you can pull with it. So a, a gear drive transmission that's smaller may have more capabilities than a hydrostatic, hydrostatic drive transmission that's slightly bigger, uh, depending on the model and the numbers there. The other thing that we need to care about is the lift capacity. Now, the lift capacity on this particular tractor is, um, well, the rear lift is 1,700 pounds. The front lift for the front end loader, okay, guys, sorry, that took me a minute to find it. The 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 full height uh, the lift on the front end loader on the front end loader is 1,000 pounds, uh, 1,003 pounds as again as according to tractor data. Now our tractor has a little bit bigger cylinders on it, so we can actually lift a little bit more than that. But that's because we upgraded the cylinder, so uh, not really comparing apples to oranges there. Um, my uh, my dad's tractor, um, I'm, his, his lift capacity is only 1,200. So even though again he's got that much more horsepower, he only has about 200 pounds more on the lift capacity than I. I do. We have a very similar size hydraulic pump, so all I'd have to do is upgrade my cylinders and I can get the same lift capacity as he does. Um, and uh, it, it, it really is, is in a lot of ways, kind of a moot point for the, for the size of the tractor. The, a lot of people will argue and say that the best tractor to get is the largest one that you can afford. Um, I don't like that advice. I say get the uh, smallest one that will get the job done. Um, you, there's no need to go bigger. Bigger tractors have disadvantages disadvantages to them. They are harder to maneuver, they are significantly worse on fuel, and they're much, much more expensive to maintain. Um, a tractor that's bigger than this, that's 15 horsepower bigger, has drastic maintenance differences in the, uh, just in things like buying new tires, uh, replacing pins, class two hitch equipment is a lot more expensive. Um, and so there's a lot of uh, a lot of price differences with that. So for anything, if you're under 35 acres, uh, I'm not entirely convinced that you'll get the advantages of those larger tractors. Now, obviously there comes a time when we need those larger tractors, but um, I, I disagree with the notion that you know you should be buying 40 horsepower tractors. Um, I, I'm just not convinced that the benefits to them are necessary for what you're using it for. If you start getting up there and you need larger tractors, you need to be looking at things in the 50, 60, even 75, 100 horsepower range uh, before you really start seeing some benefits from that horsepower. Uh, there's just there, there's if you look at the numbers, there's not enough difference from a 40 to something like a 25. So 
Now, people have wanted to argue with me about the capabilities of small tractors like this, saying that they can't carry hay, hay bales and stuff like that. Absolutely false. Now, you may not be able to carry some really massive hay bales. Uh, there, there are ones out there that are really big. Uh, but for the most part, most hay bales that you, that you buy uh, locally are going to run between about 750 to 1,000 pounds. And our tractor has been more than capable, even with the factory cylinders, of lifting those thousand pound hay bales. And I realize it says this, the maximum rating is a thousand pounds at full height, um, but uh, we, we've had no problem lifting those hay bales. We do stack them too high. We take them up and down hills, up and down uh, to, to feed our cows. We put them into hay rings. Uh, we put them all over the place, uh, and we have absolutely no problem moving them. We move 100% of our hay uh, with this tractor and, uh, and, and don't have any issues with the capabilities uh, of the loader to do so. So uh, don't listen to people that tell you that you have to have a 60 horsepower tractor. It's just simply not true. Um, a 25 horsepower tractor is fully capable of moving hay bales. And I imagine you could probably go smaller if you were willing to buy 4x4 four four hay bales or, or uh, four, even 4x5. Four uh, we get uh, five, 5, I think typically ours are 5x5. Five five, um, and we have no problem moving them. And again, we, we've never come across a hay bale that we can't move. Does that mean that we can move a soaking wet hay bale that's been sitting out in the rain? all day long. I do it I do it all the time. We don't have any problems with it. Um, again, people want to argue with us. There's The proof is in the pudding and we've seen it done and we do it here consistently. You absolutely can move hay bales with a tractor that has a thousand pound load rating uh, on the lift. So again, don't get hung up on the horsepower. Okay guys, so that's about all I have for you today. Don't buy too much tractor. Obviously, don't buy too small a tractor. You need to find the sweet spot for your farm and for what your intended use is. But uh, there's no sense in paying a bunch of money for something that you're not going to get the benefits out of. And realize that you absolutely can move hay bales, which is the biggest question people have. Can I move a hay bale? And can I? what size bush hog can I run behind it? Those are the two biggest questions that people have. You can absolutely run a five or six foot bush hog behind this tractor with no problems at all. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Mackie again with Ironside Ranch. This is our Tractor Tip Tuesday. We will have this coming out every Tuesday. And uh, you might see me in the same clothes for some of them because I'm probably going to shoot them back to back. But uh, anyways, really appreciate y'all watching. Make sure and like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks again.